Hello, this is Chris Menard. Let me show you three cool features using the Google Calendar today. I'm a big fan of the Google Calendar. I've been using it for years. So I'm running my calendar and I'm in month view. So you know you can swap between month view, week view, day view. So in month view, this doesn't apply. But if I'm looking at week view, if you notice up in the top left, it says 12 a.m. because that's where that's midnight. That's where the day starts. Then if you scroll down, it ends at 11 p.m. Most likely, I'm not going to have an appointment at 2 in the morning or 3 in the morning. And also, I'm not going to have an appointment at 9 p.m. or 10 p.m. So what you can do is come over here to the right to settings and you need to get to labs. You can either get to labs by clicking labs and in case you don't see it in your calendar, just go to settings. And then here's labs. Click it once. Hide morning and night. So I'm going to enable that because by default when you come to labs everything is disabled. I'm going to click on save and then my calendar will refresh and if you notice when I scroll up between 12 a.m. and 7 a.m. is hidden. It's in this gray box. Also at the bottom 6 p.m. to 12 a.m. is hidden. So you can sit here and click and expand if you wanted to and then if you say Chris my day actually doesn't start at 7 a.m. I don't have any appointments between 7 and 8 o'clock. Well just pull this down drag and drop. So now it's between 12 and 8 and once again click to expand click to hide. Same thing here click scroll down I can make this 7 p.m. if I wanted to but I'm gonna leave it at 6. One other nice feature about this hide is if you have appointments in the period that's hidden, you'll still see them. Google is smart enough to still show us the appointments. So that's a cool feature. Here's another one. I'm going to go back to settings. But before I do this, I've got day view, week view, month view, four day and agenda. Frequently, I need to see the entire year, all 12 months. Well, there's not a year view up here. Well, let's go to labs or settings again. Labs. Scroll down, year view, click on enable, and you got to hit save. Save is located up at the top. It's also located at the bottom of your screen. And now over here it says year view, look, watch this, year view. I don't care what year shows, just hit the word go. There's that year right there. If I go arrow to the right, it's going to take me to 2018, 19, but you can also just click in here. Hit go and I jump to 2032. I'm going to go back to this year just by clicking this year. And now I'm going to go back to my calendar. So there is year view, which I'm a huge fan of. I'm going to go turn off that just for a second. You can go to labs if you see it. Same as going to settings labs. I'm going to disable it and save it. So now it's no longer available. Go back to labs. Here's the third one. So I showed you how to hide. I showed you year view. The third one is going to be jump to date. Enable that. Save it. So now on jump to date, I need to go to April 3rd. 2024. Jump to date. And I am on April 2024. I can go to month view while I'm in here, but I'm in the year 2024. Because even at month view, that's a long way to go here. You see what I'm saying? I'm going to go back to today. So there's jump to date, which is another cool feature. So there, there are the three features. The last one I want to show you, I'm going to go back to today. So actually there's four items today. The fourth one is this. I actually love agenda view. You can do this on your smartphone to your Android phone. When I click agenda, there's the 25th, 26th, 27th. 
A lot of people don't know this. Just click on expand all and you can come in here and you can tweak all this information that's showing real easy. So go to agenda view, click on expand all. And then when you're done, if you want to click collapse all you can, but I kind of leave this running too. I appreciate your time. Have a good day.